Start enrolling volunteers. Doesn't matter if you're from Southgate, Birmingham, Gross Point, Detroit. Uh, we're looking for first responders and healthcare workers who, if the study works out, will save the lives of first responders uh, around the world. Define once and for all, does this regimen work so that we can protect the people who are uh, putting themselves at risk? So a lot of hope attached to that announcement and to have it happen here in Detroit, of course, is big as well. Very big. We do want to get some context on this from Dr. McGeorge. I imagine there are many studies of hydroxychloroquine being started. So how does this fit with them, Doc? Well, you know, Karen, this study is very specifically looking at whether hydroxychloroquine can be used to prevent a previously uninfected person from becoming infected, basically using it as prophylaxis and not treatment of an active infection. So to be included in the study, you're going to have to have a blood test to prove that you have not yet been infected. Then you will be randomly assigned to get either a daily dose of the drug, a weekly dose of the drug, or placebo. Now, everyone will be monitored at regular intervals for any symptoms of infection and any side effects of the pills. Then, at eight weeks, they will have another blood test to see if they were infected. And at that point, the study will be concluded, and hopefully, we should be be able to tell if the medication made a difference yeah. in preventing people from acquiring it. It's really good news and I think a lot of hope is out there because obviously we need to know the answer to this major question. Uh, results will not come in as quickly as anybody would like them though of course, Doc. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Uh, Henry Ford, by the way, says the study could begin recruiting volunteers as early as tonight or tomorrow, and we will post a link on our website at clickondetroit.com when it becomes available. Uh, more from Doc coming up a little bit later on. Now